Hi guys, welcome back to Tarot Makes It Up. I have another video today for you, which is kind of looking at a brand that I definitely have explored a lot more this year. Um, I'm talking about NYX makeup, and I wanted to do kind of a test really overall to see if it's any good, and which products kind of fare better than others. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna get straight in because there's quite a lot to get through. So the first thing I have is the Mineral Stick Foundation. Now, I really, really wanted to try the HD foundation, but I didn't have anywhere near my shade in stock. So the Mineral Stick Foundation I've got in MS04, or light medium, um, this came in at £10.50. So this was the most expensive thing I brought. Um, the packaging isn't too offensive, it's just plain black. You get that much product. Um, so let's see how we get on with this. Again, this might be, oh no, actually that's quite a good match. Um, so I'm going to start in the middle and then work outwards. Now I'm going to try it with a brush first. Um, I think you could use fingers. Now this definitely feels like you can build the coverage. So I'm kind of just putting this on top of moisturizer. And with the first coat, I guess you would say, it blends fairly well. I feel like there's easier foundations I've worked with to blend. It does have, it's a bit like um, when Secret Camouflage by Laura Mercier is cold. It feels that little bit stiff at first, but it does provide, let's try my chin. That's where I kind of tend to need more coverage. Let's try it with fingers as well. So it's not as kind of dewy as I thought it would be. It's definitely not a matte foundation, but from what I can see, it feels like quite a natural finish. I'd say it's probably light to medium build. Yeah, so far so good, quite like that. So next I'm gonna do brows, and this one, you guys will already know I love this because I've had this a while now, and this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I have got the shade Ash Brown, and this was seven pounds. Now again, this comes in a really wide range of shades, which I think is really impressive considering a lot of kind of drugstore or cheaper beauty brands tend to only ever offer like two brow shades, which I always think is really convenient. Um, so very, very similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. That is the best comparison. This would be a really, really good dupe for that. So I just use it just to feather through the front and just to add some extra little strokes. So that's the brow product. Absolutely love that. Like I said, I've tried it before. I knew I'd love it. Um, I have got concealer, but I feel like I want to play around with the other products before I do concealer just to see how this foundation works, because now it's been on a little while, it's definitely settled nicely. It's not really oxidized. Um, it hasn't quite covered like around my nose area, but it is a nice natural foundation stick. So I think a lot of people will like this. Um, again, it said it's mineral, so if you like mineral makeup, you'll probably really like that. Um, I'm gonna go on to, so for eyes, I do have one of the eyeshadows, but because I've done so many videos with a brown eye, I feel like I'll show you the eyeshadow, but I won't use it in this video. So this is one of the prismatic eyeshadows and these come in at five pounds. Now, these are bloody brilliant. I feel like these are a very good dupe for some of the MAC shadows. This one really reminds me of a slightly darker Woodwinked. Um, I think there's one called Tempting or something like that that MAC do. This is a really good dupe for that. And what I'm finding with the NYX products generally is the products that are good are very good dupes for maybe like MAC products or Inglot products, products that, um, you know, kind of quite well known within the names they come in. So really love the eyeshadow, even though I'm not gonna try it today. I can hold my hands up and say that's beautiful. So I feel like today I should do a liner look. That's what I'm tempted to do. And I mentioned these, I think it might have been a July favorites and August favorites, which is the Vivid Bright Liners. Um, but I haven't used one in a video, so I felt like this would be a good chance for me to test them out myself. So I'm gonna go with the Vivid Violet. So it's really nice bright purple. And when I tried these on the back of my hand and I've used them like in my pro kit, they come out really super matte. So I thought these would be a really fun thing to like experiment with within a video. So let's go in. So very opaque color straight away. I almost feel like I need to do quite a graphic shape so we can really show the color off. Um, so it is this really intense opaque color very quickly, which is good. So I think we should do a classic Harry flick, but in a different color. So I'm gonna go quite big with it. So that's all with like one dip of the brush if you like. So I'm going back in to get more pigment. And it's layering not too bad. Oh yeah, quite good. At first I thought it was going a bit watery, but it's actually not too bad. 
but wow, that is beautiful colour, absolutely stunning. And these were £5.50, I think, Vivid Brights, yeah, £5.50, so again, really, really affordable, guys, like, I think, you know, it's hard to find these kind of colours um, within, like, the cheaper brands, so, and it's starting to dry matte now, which leaves a really nice kind of, like, chalky finish, which I really like. So I've just completed the second eye and there's a couple of things to note after doing the second eye. One is that it is starting to feel cooling. So it's not it's not in any way hurting or uncomfortable, but it has like kind of tightened the skin a little bit. So I can feel it on the lids. Um, the other thing is you might be able to see some of my lashes have kind of like stuck together a little bit with the pigment. Um, so I feel like if before you put mascara on, you might want to just pull that off. Um, I have other eyeliners that do a similar thing, so that doesn't massively bother me, but because it's a very, very wet formula, it does kind of fall into the lashes. However, the way it looks is very, very beautiful, and I love the intensity. And I feel before I do mascara, now I need to add some concealer. So the concealer I'm really excited about, and I've got high hopes for, because this was, this was also £5.50, and it's HD concealer. And I've got the shade, where does it say the shade names? CW04. Now, again, I like the packaging. I like the fact it kind of, it looks like it could be makeup forever. And it's with the doe for applicator. So it feels nice and creamy. It feels very similar to um, like the Urban Decay uh, Weightless Concealer. But let's see how this blends in. So this might even be a little bit too warm. Oh, I don't know. I think I can get away with it. Um... But wow, that's got some pretty good coverage. That is pretty good. The concealer, I'm glad that's kind of so far. I'm excited by that. So that was just with one. I think I could have had enough still as well on the applicator to kind of probably do the other side of my face as well. But wowee, that is pretty amazing. That does feel like a really good dupe actually for the kind of um, Urban Decay weightless concealer. So for me, the two together, if I was to use that and the mineral foundation stick, it wouldn't bother me that the foundation stick um, didn't have as much coverage or wasn't kind of as, I mean, it wasn't a bad foundation at all. I think I was just expecting it to be much creamier than it was and it wasn't as creamy. So, but that concealer, that is amazing. Really impressed with that. So mascara, I actually went for, this one is called the Skinny Mascara, which I thought looked really interesting. I feel like with mascaras, again, you kind of, you've got your lengthening and your voluming, but not many cheaper brands do things like this where you have a super, super skinny wand, um, very similar to like the DHC mascaras, great for the bottom lash line. Right, and let's try it on these bottom lashes. It feels really surreal. It's kind of like finding where the edge is. Um, but I think this would be really, really good if you did have, you know, the teeny tiny lashes or not many lashes at all on your bottom lash line because it does just catch every single one and I can go right into the inner corner with this as well. You could almost like tight line with this, I think. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Oh, wow, that's really cool. You can literally use it to like tight line almost. Very similar to the principle of what the new Hourglass um, mascara one thing does. I'm literally, I'm actually almost like pressing it into my tight line to give myself like a tight line effect at the same time. So it is very separating that mascara on reflection, but now it's kind of been on a little bit. It's nice that even though you go in the top tight line, it doesn't print down, but I think it does make my lashes look a bit sparse. That's the only thing I feel like I'd probably want a volumizing mascara as well as that, but for the whole principle of what it does, I think that's a really good idea. So the next product I have is the High Definition Blush, which comes like this. Again, the packaging here isn't so exciting. Um, and I went for the colour, the Hamptons, which is kind of like a corally pink, which I thought might look quite nice and fresh. So we'll apply a little bit of that. Um, doesn't feel like loads comes off on the brush. I feel like you could kind of quite heavily go in with this and not worry too much about overdoing the pigment, but it's a nice colour really nice and easy to use and I put a bit of uh, powder on underneath because I couldn't get a powder again in my skin tone either from NYX um, but yeah that blush is really pretty that gives a nice bit of life to the face a bit of freshness now for lips I do have one of the lip butters which is in a really gorgeous color this one is I think it's called licorice um, which is a really really pretty color but I feel like I want to go with a liquid lipstick because 
I just think these are one of my favorite things at the minute and um, these are one of my favorites videos it's the NYX liquid suede and this one is in lost cherry so I put a bit of lip balm on earlier I think it's pretty much rubbed off now um so I'm kind of doing an eye and a lip look but I think it's just a good way to show you more of the products and test them out so let's go in with this amazing red So I like to kind of just print my lips together first and the fact the applicator is really long I think can go in your favour because it means you can kind of like pull it around the lip and get a lot of lip covered in one go. So that's the lipstick, it does feel quite drying because it's a liquid lipstick but I still really really like that, I feel like that colour is very much like a high end colour, it feels intense, it feels rich. Um, I love the way it looks on the lip, I think as well with dark colours, I know when Bourjois first brought out their Velvet Edition um, liquid lipsticks, the dark colours never had the same um, payoff as the lighter colours, and what I will say with this being a dark colour, it definitely gives you the colour you want it to give, and it's opaque all the way through. So I really like that, I feel like I've got a slight Sula going on, let's just powder that in a little bit. I feel like you can get precision with the brush. I feel like it gives you space to build the intensity. Um, it's quite a nice teeth whitening color, which is nice. Okay, the colors you might not necessarily put together with the eye and the lip, but just to give you an idea of the products and how they work, um, the liner, I'm really interested to see how well that wears. For me, the standout products have to be the HD concealer. I think that is a fantastic dupe for the um, Urban Decay Weightless Coverage Concealer, and I imagine the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer as well. Um, really like the packaging, really like the simplicity, like the Don't Fit Applicator, really like the colour on me, and generally, I'm really impressed. I think NYX is incredibly affordable for the quality they produce, so um, it definitely gets a thumbs up from me. So let me know which your favourite piece was. So please like this video if you do like this series and you're enjoying it. I'd love it if you guys subscribe and I'll see you soon for more videos. Thanks very much guys, bye.